All right, Shalom. Shalom. All right, we're the brothers here. This is Gamaliala. All right, and uh, we're the brothers out of Great Millstone, Atlanta. First and foremost, giving all praise to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to all the Aki and I pushing out this truth and sincerity. All right, it's a quick GMS Godspeed lesson. All right, and uh, this is going to be entitled um, uh, Don't Do Things to Be Seen. Okay, uh, a lot of times, you know, um, you have men in the faith, okay, that that will uh, do certain things just to try to put on a show like they like they uh, may know certain things, or you know what I'm saying? Like you'll you'll try to uh, uh, have the image, portray the image as knowing, but you know, like like the bishop uh, said, you know, all all of us we're really not on the level that we think we're on, man. You know, so a lot of times. You know, uh, you know, we'll try to uh, put on as if, you know, we're we're uh, uh, put on amongst men that that you know with a certain uh, type of way, and you know what I'm saying. But that's like I said, us doing things to to be seen, you know. And we don't want to be in that spirit. So this is uh, Matthew six and one. Take heed that ye do not your alms before men to be seen of them. All right, otherwise ye have no reward of your father which is in heaven. Yeah, now it says, do not your alms for men, which alms is uh, given to the poor. All right, but alms can also be a spiritual sense as uh, given knowledge, okay? Because the, the, the scriptures is also known as, is also known as manna and, and um, you know, food, spiritual food. You know what I'm saying? So don't do these things just to be seen of people like when you I always think it's whack but you see a lot of celebrities when they give food to the poor they give out money they got the camera rolling and they do things just to put on that image like okay yeah see I'm a good person and see we'll do that in the faith like like you know brothers will uh, and you know I've, I've been guilty of it too but you know brothers will you know uh, put an image as if okay I know this I know this I know that or whatever and you know what I'm saying? You, but you're really just doing it to kind of show brothers that you know. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, go ahead. This is um, 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 26. How is, how is it then, brethren, when ye come together, every one of you hath a psalm, hath a doctrine, hath a tongue, hath a revelation, hath an interpretation? Let all things be done unto edifying. Mm. So everything that we do, everything that we're incorporating in, into this this melting pot, into this into this this building, this body, it should be done into edification, which is ultimately building up the spirit, right? right. You know, building up the character of ourselves and those around us, all right? And if you you know show in your knowledge, the scripture said knowledge puff it up, but charity edify. You know, it's not about how much you know. And, and it's a, a full um, spiritual wise wise word out of season. Yep. You know, it's a time. Of course, you want to study and, and do diligence, but according to the period in which Yahweh Bashim Shai has set up, that's when these these you know bullet points need to be brought forth. Yeah. You know, everything unto edification, man. Beautiful. Not vain glory. Yeah, beautiful. Um, I will keep going because uh, I, I didn't realize I didn't realize it keeps going. Uh, six, verse two. It says, therefore, when thou doest thine alms, do not sound a trumpet before thee as the hypocrites do. So the scriptures, the scriptures actually call this a hypocrite, okay? Because, you know, you're really, you know, it, and it's, it also goes into being real. Just be real with yourself. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to, uh, you don't got to put on, you know? I, I keep going. It says, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may have glory of men, Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. Um, and that's their reward. Mm -hmm. your, your, your reward is being glorified by men. Yeah. Your, your, your reward is, is getting filthy lucre. You know, your reward is, is to be an image, uh, but not to, ultimately you're not fulfilling that image, man. Yeah. That's why Yahweh Shah said, he said, to, uh, he was speaking to the disciples, he said, the Pharisees follow what they say to do, but don't follow their conduct. Because like the scripture says, they're hypocrites, man. Yeah. You know? It's yeah. a little bit more. And and you know what? This reminds me of uh Christians. Christians, they're the biggest to they're the biggest 
uh, uh, hypocrites as far in, in this respect because they be trying to put on this image as if you know I go to church faithfully I go to you know I do this I do that in the church and I'm involved and I love God and, and they they are the main ones that don't they don't even really know the Lord you know it says uh, that thine own verse 3 but doest thine alms when thou doest alms let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doeth that thy alms may be in secret and thy father which is which seeth in secret himself shall reward thee openly yes yeah, so that's pretty much the point on that is you know do that you don't gotta do things uh you know um to be to to show you know what i'm saying showcase basically you know what i'm saying just do the lord sees it the lord sees everything and then when he wants you to when he's ready for you to to uh display or edify like the brother brought out when he's ready for you to edify he'll put the spirit on you to just to do it you know you got it that's why you want to make sure you're grounded in this thing in sincerity you know because some brothers may be have may have a charismatic spirit but is the is their conduct of being charismatic is in sincerity that's the question some brothers have a dull spirit but is their dullness is it in or when i say dullness not as charismatic it's how how they speak, how they teach, it's how they operate. Is it in sincerity, man? Because if it's in sincerity, like the brother said, the Yahweh by Shimei is going to guide everything according to His will. Right. You know? right. I mean, you, you you can end up making yourself seem like a fool when you try to boast and try to make yourself seem as if you're something when you're not what you think you are, when you're not what you're trying to portray. You know, right. the spirit the spirit will reveal that, man. The Lord the, the Lord doesn't like that. The Lord deals with a, a humble and contrite spirit. Uh -huh. Yep. You know? Yep. You got it. God, um, this is the book. This is the book of St. John, chapter 12, verse 42. Nevertheless, among the chief rulers also many believed on him. And him is speaking of Yahweh. All right. Yahweh is the name of uh, the world called Jesus Christ. All right. It meaning he delivers. All right. It says, it says, but because of the Pharisees, they did not confess him, mm -hmm. lest they should be put out of the, out of the synagogue. All right, so these people they cared about what the ruling class had to say, or what the governing officials had to say, the people of influence. Because the Pharisees essentially they were the people of influence. They were the governing body of, of, of Israel at that yeah. time period, and so they don't want certain certain business opportunities to be compromised. And, you know, like the scripture said, they were going to be cast out of the and cast out of the synagogue. That's a big time thing, be cast out of the synagogue. But if it's for righteousness' sake, then we, hey, the scripture said we are the temple of the Most High, all right. And if you if you the, the, if you deny the Son of God, you, you're you're defiling your temple, right? All right. It says um, verse forty three. It says, for they love the praise of man more than the praise of God. Yeah, they love the praise of man more than the praise of the Most High. You know. And and we should we should really be seeking to please the heavenly Father, man. Yeah. You know, because He's really that's that's who called us into this work. You know, that's the first works. You know, uh, I got something real quick since we run out of time. Uh, Philippians two and twelve. It says, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, Philippians 2 and 12 wherefore my beloved as ye have always obeyed not as in my presence only but now but now much more in my absence absence work out yourself work out your own salvation with fear and trembling yeah so it says not not as in my presence only <laughs> so don't just do it when 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 the Lord when when men are around or the spirit is around and you got to put on this no you got to do it in the Lord's absence what are you doing in your spare time you know, work out your own salvation because everyone has their own their own journey and their own battles to conquer. Uh, you, we're not against each other, so you know there's no point of trying to you know uh, uh, show what you know. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, did you have anything else? Yeah, show what you know by your conduct, man. Exactly. It says, uh, it says um, amongst brothers, you're supposed to have holy conversation, and brothers always go into this holy conversation in Greek. Uh, I guess anastrophe, which means holy or, or which is sacred or separate, and anastrophe meaning manner of life or condo. Right. So your actions should be basically speaking, you know, how you're supposed to operate, you know. 
so on and so forth. Like Yahweh Shah, he was our he was our, our an example. He was an example for us based off based off of what he did. You know, of course, what he professed, but his actions, his tangible actions, man. That's that, right. that cross, that cross wasn't in word. That cross was indeed, man. You know. Mm -hmm. So that, yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah, so uh, with that, we'll close off giving all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem Kakudash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone. Shalom. Hey, shalom.